on me life. So when we conduct a traffic stop, we're gonna walk up to the vehicle. When we walk up to the vehicle, I'm gonna kinda go by your A pillar here. I'm gonna check kinda as we're walking up the trunk, kinda look to see if I can see inside the vehicle. Um, when I come to the vehicle, some people introduce themselves like, hi, my name is Deputy Shelby Humphreys from the Kent County Sheriff's Department. Some police officers won't. Um, just kind of their personal preference. Everybody has a routine on a traffic stop um, to get used to what they're doing every day. So when I walk up, um, I'm going to ask you to roll the window down or kind of tap if you haven't rolled the window down yet. When I get here, hi ma'am, I'm Deputy Shelby Humphreys, Kent County Sheriff's Department, okay? I will give you a reason on why I'm stopping you today, whether it be, you know, for a stoplight, a traffic light, a stop sign, etc. On me life. Before the officer arrives at the vehicle, should they have their window rolled down? Yes. Okay. What's the reasoning behind that? To have the window rolled down just so we can get here, we can have automatic communication with you because you can't hear me. You know, it's very hard for me to try to yell through the window to you. Um, obviously, if that isn't the case, I might tap. In certain circumstances, I understand like today is very cold outside. So I understand if your window is rolled up, I may have to just tap say, you know, I'm here because you may not see me um, coming up from behind your vehicle. Okay. And where should the, the driver keep their hands? The driver should keep their hands on their steering wheel at all times or a place where I can see them. Okay. Um, we keep in a place where I can see them. That makes me feel comfortable um, just so I can see where our hands are just as that should make you feel comfortable. Um, so knowing that, you know, we're just having a casual conversation. Okay. I'll keep the top of the hill. Okay. On me life. With your hands on the steering wheel, I'm going to ask you can, for your driver's license, registration, and insurance, okay? Um, when I ask you for that, now if it's in your glove box or in a purse or in your center console, um, if you want to say, hey, I'm reaching for my license, my registration, and my insurance, um, and just kind of tell me where it's at so I know where you're reaching so I'm not panicking or, you know, getting nervous that you're reaching for something other than your license, registration, or insurance. It's okay. okay. Uh, I got a tail. I'm gonna get my driver license. Okay. And uh, insurance. Card. Okay. 통증과 운전면허증을 차려야 됩니다. 먼저 말씀드리고 행동하세요. Okay. 보내주세요. Uh, during this time, while she is reaching for it, um, I'm just gonna kind of keep track of. Uh, you know her movements on where she is reaching just so that I can see even though she told me obviously sometimes stuff can go wrong okay. thank you um, when she hands me her information I'm just gonna check to make sure that everything is correct um, you know when the vehicle expires uh, the license I'm sorry the registration when it expires um, the insurance when it expires make sure that this is the correct vehicle that she has insurance for um, here uh, in the United States um, we to drive a car and have a valid driver's license and drive a vehicle you have to have registration and you have to have insurance on your vehicle okay. in order to drive it um, so that thank you so that's why we ask for this information because you can be in violation if you do not have it um, now at this time when she does hand me her information or while she is handing me her information I will probably just ask simple questions like wh where did you come from where are you headed um, you know if, if you, I pulled you over for speed why are you driving so fast okay um, same thing with like a seatbelt I may just ask you a couple simple questions about the violation just so I can kind of get to know who you are and you can kind of obviously get to know who I am um, with you know being polite and respectful and understanding that you know the reason why I'm pulling you over okay. so then at this time I would go back to my vehicle obviously I'm gonna keep looking back and paying attention to her vehicle just making sure she's not making any vivid movements any rigid movements or something that she's not driving off or driving away on me life our computer system here has everything on it that we need to uh, need to know about a person um, so at this time what I would do is I would take um, her license I can see that her registration and her insurance is valid um, so most of the time I will hand that this information back to the person um, sometimes uh, other deputies or police officers um, might not do that it, again it's just personal preference because um, everybody gets in a routine of their normal traffic stop um, once I run her license my computer will tell me and her um, license plate my computer will tell me if it is valid um, will tell me if her license is valid or if it's restricted or suspended um, I can see her address see a picture of her to you know identify that this vehicle do does belong to her um, 
and that the driver's license that she gave me is her that she's telling me who she is. Then, after I run her information in our law enforcement database, I will decide at this time whether I'm going to issue a ticket or not for her. It's up to the officer's discretion on whether they want to write a ticket or not. We can also look to see if she's had any previous tickets. That's usually a question that I do answer while, or I'm sorry, ask while I'm up there is if, you know, you have been stopped before, do you have any previous citations? I'm always keeping my eyes on the vehicle. Um, the reason I say that is we want to make sure that that person inside the vehicle is is not moving around in a suspicious manner, um, is you know not putting the car in drive and going to take off, um, just kind of for our safety and their safety as well. Han me life. We'll go back up to the vehicle. Um, on this uh, traffic stop, I'm deciding not to write her a citation. I will hand her her information back. Um, you know, explain to her, have a nice day, if she needs directions, whatever that may be. Um, we go into explaining traffic on a traffic stop things that we do not want people to do we do not want people to ever exit their vehicle never ever exit your vehicle um, one it's very dangerous um, very dangerous in the fact that if we are on for example a highway and people are going 80 miles an hour um, we do not want you to get hit um, also with that being said you exiting the vehicle is very suspicious to us um, we do not want you to do that and the fact that maybe you're trying to do something maybe you're trying to run maybe you might have something in your pockets that we don't know about so that's what our fear is um, also when we walk up to the vehicle we don't want your hands we, or I'm sorry we want your hands to be visible we don't want your hands to be you know in your pockets or you know I guess if it's cold I understand um, you know if it's cold I understand maybe your hands kind of being in between your legs just because it's freezing outside um, but we want them always to be visible um, so whether they're on the steering wheel on the dash that's fine um, you know if they're here on the windowsill with me that's fine at least I can see them that creates a good um, and positive you know relationship and communication with me because then I know you're not trying to hurt me okay um, another thing that we want you to do if at all possible you know shutting your car off turning your car off is okay it's not something you have to do but it just gives us more comfort and ease because we know that you're not going to go anywhere um, you know that we're going to complete this traffic stop whatever it may be um, and we're going to be able to do it in a safe manner on me life 첫 번째 기억해야 될 것은 뭐예요? 첫 번째는 차에서 내리지 말고 왜요? 성경께서 자기를 보호하기 위해서 차에서 내리지 않아야 되는 거예요. 네. 두 번째 것은 두 번째 것은 내 손이 이 스트링 위에 있어야 되는 거. 음, 왜요? 이거는 그 성경께서 내 손이 어디에 있는 거를 봐야 되기 때문에 어? 어, 무기나 뭐가 손에 없는 걸 봐야 되기 때문에. 오케이 세 번째 것은 어, 차 시동을 꺼라. 왜요? 아 어, 그것도 세프티지 도망 도망 안 가거나. 어. 오케이 마지막 마지막 뭐였더라? There's four things like we can't remember the last one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so your hands. Your hands. Don't, um, don't exit the vehicle. Don't exit the vehicle. Um, Make sure the officer can see your hands. Correct. And if you want, you can turn the car off. The car. You don't have to. Honestly, a lot of people uh -huh. do not turn their car off, which I am completely okay with it. Just as long as it's in park. That's okay. what we care about. We want the vehicle to be in park because we don't want it to seem like you're gonna run us over or you know drive away or do right, something right. along those lines. 생각이 났어요. 행동하시기 전에 먼저 말씀드리세요. 나의 면허증을 꺼내겠다. 나의 면허증을 먼저 꺼내야 된다고. 먼저 말씀드리고 행동하시고 그렇죠? 오케이. 자 이렇게 여러분들이 이렇게 행동하시면 아무런 문제가 없을 겁니다 미국에서 오케이 명령하시는 대로 하시면 될것 같죠? 네. 네. On me life. I would just like to add. Yep. Lastly, is uh, one of the most important things when we do make a traffic stop. We're, it's not considered to us, it's not a punishment, okay? We're, we're trying to make sure that you're driving safe, you know, that we're also driving safe, but that we just want to make sure where you're going, you get there safely. So, in respect as respect for you, respect for us, just please listen to what we're telling you. And the reason why I say that is we're not trying to make it harsh. We just want to be able to have you be safe and us be safe and not to have any miscommunication on what's going on.